it's amazing, but I know whatever path she would have followed, she would have been successful. Um, I miss not being able to play golf with my son-in-law. I miss not being able to take my grandkids to the park. It's, uh, those are things that were taken away from me when this happened. And I, they're irreplaceable. The hurt is no different. Whether he dreams of what might have been, but will never happen. And with that emotional statement, it becomes so painfully obvious that the passage of 20 years has done little to ease the pain of Tom Frost. The notion that time heals all wounds is just a simple, hollow phrase. Mr. Frost, a retired SoCal Edison systems operator, lost his 22-year-old daughter, Lisa. She was on United Flight 175 from Boston to LAX, the second plane to hit the World Trade Center. I turned it on to see the first building burning, and about three minutes after six, there came a plane from the left side of the screen and blew up into the South Tower. And I had no idea Lisa was on that flight. Unbeknownst to me, I just watched my daughter get murdered in front of me live on TV. And that's a memory I'll always have to take with me. With all the terrible video forever etched into our minds, the video from Ground Zero, from the Pentagon, and from Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It sometimes gets lost on us that 9-11 was also a California story, a California tragedy. All the planes were headed here. Those flights chosen by the terrorists because they were filled up with fuel for the cross-country journey, the better to cause death and destruction. We made it across the big dig, Dad, and yep, I'll see you in a few hours at LAX. I'm just going to go home and catch a little nap and, and come get you. Can't wait. Me too. Love you. Love you too. Lisa was wrapping up her life in Boston after graduating with honors from Boston University. She had a job lined up in California. Instead, her dreams and hopes ended at 9.03 a.m. that day. It is for 9-11, but it's dedicated to parents who have lost a child. It's, uh, it's sacred ground in this city, and I'm very proud of that. It's impossible not to be moved when this proud father opens the hatchback of his car to show us his treasured keepsakes that memorialize his daughter. We were given this urn. It has World Trade Center soil in it. It's been sifted through. Those mementos, along with the beautiful grounds surrounding the memorial tree in this peaceful park, provide solace for Mr. Frost. But it's in this church a mile away where Lisa's spirit truly comes to life. The San Francisco Solano Catholic Church in Rancho Santa Margarita, in fact, the logo of the church's food bank was sketched by Lisa herself. Gives me a great deal of satisfaction because I know Lisa worked uh, with the homeless in the soup kitchens when she was in high school. They dedicated that room to Lisa. So what a wonderful tribute and what a wonderful honor. And every time I go to make my delivery each month, now I have to look up and see her picture. And 20 years later, the memory of Lisa Frost lives on in other ways. Two scholarships, one through her high school, Tribuco Hills, and another sponsored by Boston University. I made my way over to Boston University and met one of the scholarship recipients. Uh, she told me that her parents weren't going to be able to afford to get her into Boston University, and Lisa's scholarship threw them over the top. It's almost as if she hasn't gone away, and she's still here. And everything that I do, when it concerns her, I always feel like she's right here. In Rancho Santa Margarita, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News. Oh, we think about Lisa and so many others who were lost on that day. Reminder, we are airing a live special edition of Good Day LA this Saturday to commemorate 20 years since the attacks. We'll start at 6 a.m. on our sister station, KCOP. What a powerful story told really? by Laura there. And I think it's, it's a reminder that this is such a human tragedy. Sometimes we think about the concepts, think about those iconic images, and don't think about the stories behind each and every one of them. And a story that's still impacting people every single day impacts him every morning he wakes up. And what he's done with that is so important to use that memory and her legacy to do so much good. But just watching it, I think we're all thinking about where we were 
when that happened 20 years ago. Yeah.